Meantime, some state lawmakers aren't happy with the COVID protocol safety as they get back to business with the latest spike in COVID cases. There are far fewer preventative measures in place at the state capitol compared to last year. Elliot Polikoff spent some time at the Capitol today, and Elliot, you talked with one state rep who says this impacts how safe she feels trying to do her job. Yeah, Jamie and Nicole, Representative Athena Solomon, she is pregnant. Her due date tomorrow. As a result, she put in a request to work from home. That request, it was denied, and now she faces the choice of potentially being exposed to COVID or missing the first week of the new legislative session. It's a decision that is political and is, is meant to punish me and, and to be cruel. Come to the Capitol or your vote doesn't count. Those are the new guidelines for lawmakers at the state legislature. And that puts District 26 representative Athena Salman in a tough situation. I'm not um, planning on exposing myself potentially to COVID-19 right before I'm due to give birth. Would all the new members of the House and Senate As House and Senate members return to work on a day when COVID numbers in our state top 13,000, they did so without any required COVID preventative measures a stark contrast to last year's stricter guidelines. The bare level of protections that we had last year where members could participate and vote remotely, where the public could testify in committees remotely. We had plexiglass, we had temperature checks. Uh, at the beginning of session, we had a mass requirement. None of that exists today. In a statement to Arizona's family, a spokesperson for the Republican House majority said the House will respect its members as they deal with a health concern. But we must also respect the state constitution. When it comes to remote voting, Speaker of the House Rusty Bowers says it can't be considered reliable. And the security of that representative at a, a remote location, I have no control over. And our lawyers have said in the emergency and all of its confusion last year, you got it, you stretched it way far. You've got to get people in the building. That doesn't mean on the House floor, some lawmakers can vote from their offices, but they have to get permission from Speaker Bowers. For Representative Salmon, that's just not enough. These are the same people that say that they are here to protect the unborn, and yet here I am about to give birth, and they are trying to force me into conditions that could jeopardize the outcomes of my pregnancy and the outcomes for my, my expectant child. As expected, Representative Salmon did not show up for today's opening day. Neither did her husband, State Senator Juan Mendez, who made a similar request to work remotely so he could be there for the birth of their child. It was denied by Senate President Karen Fan.